All right, so as you can see, we've got the boat backed into the garage right now. A lot of the engine panels are off because I've been working on it. As I did my 300 hour maintenance, um, I realized that <laughs> my jack plate is worn slam out. You can see right there that uh, that's like a half inch or thicker screw and that's snapped in half. You can see where this jack plate's moved back and forth. Um, and then none of these bolts will tighten, tighten up just because they've worn out over time. Probably due to that jack plate moving because of these, these bolts are, this one's twisted, it's not cracked, but it's also missing a nut down here. And you can see how much that jack plate's been moving, which is not good. And uh, just never, you know, you see it all the time and it never occurred to me to check to make sure the bolt, you know, is on the bottom or make sure there's not a crack in there. So I think that happened when I hit a sandbar over a year ago and it's been doing fine, but uh, obviously we want to get that fixed ASAP. So we're replacing the jack plate, might take us a, a few days or a few afternoons. And we've just taken the measurements. My engine's actually off center just a touch. Um, well, it's centered in the boat, but it's, it's at a little bit of an angle. So we're gonna fix that when we install the new jack plate. Currently on the back of the boat, we have a four inch jack plate it says Dynatrack on the side but it's made by Vance manufacturing and I actually ended up buying the new jack plate from Vance as well they uh, have really good products from what I've heard and it, they're super like reasonable in price this is a six inch jack plate that I'm replacing it with and the six inch uh, hopefully those two extra inches will give me a little bit better performance and you know let the cleaner water get to the engine and then uh, the, the jack plate itself was only like 211 bucks. Paid extra to get it shipped to me uh, quicker and they shipped it out within like five minutes of me purchasing it online during the middle of the COVID-19 crisis. So shout out to them. Hopefully everything goes well. Right now we are, we've got the engine hoist all uh, set up in here. We, there's a kit that you could buy online we saw that, uh, bolts into the flywheel and basically gives you a giant hook to hook it to which would be super nice but you would actually have to back some of the bolts out that are already existing in there and it just seemed uh didn't really seem ideal and so we've got this one one opening right here in the top of the power head you can come on in and uh and like another hook over here and so we're trying to find a bolt that's going to fit into there that we can then uh, hook something over here, hook something into that bolt, and then lift it up with this. And I don't know where the, there's a different attachment right there, and that'll let us adjust. Um, if one side needs to be is higher than the other, it'll let us adjust and, and even it out. So when we lift up the engine, it's not tilting one way or the other. Um, and so if you guys are doing this yourself, the main thing is definitely figure out a safe way to hoist the engine and take a ton of measurements and pictures of where that engine is beforehand. Obviously, I'm gonna to have to go back and, and tune this after I'm done installing the new jack point and, uh, and all that, but it's nice to have a relative area of where you can set your motor back down and know it's gonna run and perform halfway decent before you start going out and testing it and then incremen incrementally raising it up or down based on that. This is the side that's gonna be going towards the back of the boat. And then if you turn around, this is gonna be the side that's gonna be connecting to the engine. Um, just based on the holes that I've seen, I haven't looked at a manual or anything, but this is multiple holes for multiple uh, mounting positions, I'm sure, for different engines and their manufacturers. And then you got that one single bolt in the middle that's gonna help lower and raise this engine. And then you got your three bolts on either side. Versus the old jack plate had a, had a bolt on either side for raising and lowering and only two bolts on either side to hold it in position. So that new one should be much stronger. And right now we're moving the hoist into position. We've got a big bolt wedged in here and then we've got a chain connecting where we'll connect on the other side and then raise it up. And as dad was just explaining to me, we're going to be doing most of the lifting with the jack where hopefully the majority of the weight will be sitting down through that 
and then the chain when we hoist it will just be balancing it because I was originally worried about when you lift up the weight on the chains is going to go towards the inside and I don't want to crush stuff but as long as you use the jack at the same time we should be uh, we should be good to go. So this is what's happened. This is a perfect hole and the bolt was in this hole and you can see it's oblong. It's not circular anymore. Look at that one. Yeah, especially that, that one. And you can see if you back out, you can see all of this, this silver you see is where the jack plate was going up and down every time you gassed it and let off, you were getting this movement and the bolts were actually just making the hole larger so this plate is toast yeah and so that that little you know out of shape circle right there and right there that's preventing you from being able to tighten down even if the nut is tightened down all the way there's still that tiny bit of play which is also causing all this and then here's that bolt I showed you guys earlier that was snapped fell right off and uh, just for some clarification that's the piece that was uh, right on the inside here and so I just showed you guys that one over there off um, the left side of the boat and we just took off the right one and as you can see this one is way worse I mean, that is absolutely terrible and uh, a great reason why we're getting rid of this and putting a new one on a little update this is what we're looking at. We just uh, got the rest of the jack plate off the boat. Very simple. It's held on by four bolts, two on either side. And basically you need two people for this and one's going to be holding the bolts or undoing the bolts on this side while somebody else is in the boat in this back compartment. As you can see, there's one steel plate down there. And then there is another steel plate further up. That's what that bolt hole and then a bolt hole right there. Bolt hole, not boat hoe. <laughs> and uh, somebody needs to be in there holding those down. One thing to note on these Dynatrack boats for, I guess, a safety precaution is, is our guess. There is two nuts on the inside of each bolt on this back compartment and so generally it was best just to get that outside bolt off or nut off and then the second inner nut off and uh, and that made things go a lot easier. Now our goal is to clean up all of this, all of this crap off here we want to get completely rid of, take a razor blade or do something, get rid of all of this stuff, clean it up so it's nice and fresh. I might clean this up too, this has just been picking up oil and crap and uh, whatnot. So I'll clean all that, that off. We believe the jack plate we have, um, I don't know where it is right now, here it is. We believe the jack plate, since it's made by the same manufacturer, it looks like the holes to mount to the boat are the exact same, so we're not gonna have to drill new holes. But something to note is if you do, I, I'm sure jack plates are different, but Vance, uh, which is a company I got this from, they said that if the holes don't match up, all you have to do is drill new holes into the aluminum and you'll be fine. So that, that is something to note. Um, that could be a little bit of extra work, but we got super lucky and all the holes lined up. So now we just got to clean it up and then attach the, the new jack plate on. And uh, something else to keep in mind when we're doing that, we're going to be using lots of this marine grade silicone to seal up all the holes so our transom doesn't leak, make sure everything's watertight. And generally on Amazon, this stuff, I saw 3M was selling it for like $15 for three ounces. And Vance ended up 
selling you this when you buy the jack plate for like 15 extra or $20 and you got 10 ounces. So definitely a, uh, a good deal and we'll be using that and I'll update you guys after we clean off the transom of the boat. All right, so something just a little bit extra that you can do if you feel like it. Um, to really clean off all the bolts that you're using, if you're reusing your bolts like we are, uh, you can run them through a wire wheel, basically, and it's just going to clean off all that old, uh, you know, marine silicone and, and stuff like that that's put on those, an adhesive that's put on those bolts to secure everything. New adhesive bolt here to the moment. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so when we put on this newer adhesive, it will also bind better and uh, make it so your connections last longer too. I ran out to Lowe's and got some lock washers and some lock nuts for different bolts that are we're gonna be using here. Nothing that you necessarily have to do, but we would rather use lock nuts and lock washers than the just double nuts that they used beforehand. So we got those. As you can see, we're starting to get all our nuts and bolts and washers and whatnot uh, organized uh, make it easy on yourself and while you're taking apart all of that you know organize it as you go so then at the end you don't have to figure out what goes with what and all that save yourself some time and some headache and uh, as we get ready to put this on I will uh, start filming for you all right so as you can see we got rid of all of the old uh, marine sealant or adhesive or whatever you'd like to call it right around the holes we've really cleaned up these edges they're not perfect we just used razor blades but uh, we wanted to get most of that an adhesive away so we have a really clean surface to be able to to mount that new jack plate and apply that new adhesive to as you can see we just filled up the holes with that marine sealant dad just topped off that side is going to top off this side real quick and then we are going to pop in the jack plate as you can see right here we have already put in the bolts so that way all we have to do is you know hoist it into position and slide the bolts in thus we don't have to hold it there while you know somebody frantically runs grabs the bolts etc So we just got all the bolts through the, the transom. As you can see, the bottom bolts are down there and then the top ones are up there. Just got them snugged on so everything's staying in place and that jack point isn't falling back anymore. So now the adhesive, even if it starts to you know, dry up a little bit, it's not gonna be the end of the world. And we're gonna finish by tightening them up. So as you can see, we've got it all bolted up. Uh, all the bolts to the transom are super tight. All the bolts from the engine to the jack plate are super tight. And we've got the side bolts loose right now. As you can see, we are adjusting that uh, center bolt, which will allow us to move the motor up and down. Uh, the way we mounted it, we have lots of space to go up and uh, and, and down we're, we're in a really good position right here and our engine actually needs to go down a down an inch i believe we've been working on trying to figure out the right size for this uh the center bolt to make uh make the whole thing a little bit easier but we're gonna adjust it a little bit get it back to uh where we originally measured it on my old jack plate and then once everything is set we should be good to go um then it comes down to really uh time on the water going out making a few test runs a few hits and then after that adjusting it you know an inch or a half inch or something like that and uh and then seeing what it does so i'll update you with the final project but we are pretty much done very smooth sailing and very happy with how it's gone so far so hopefully you guys found this video helpful and I know it wasn't a great tutorial. I'm not even sure if I'm going to call it a tutorial, but that's our walkthrough of installing a jack plate. This took approximately four hours and used a variety of tools. We really used the, the air gun a ton. 
we used a lot of wrenches, uh, sockets, and, and ratchets and stuff like that. But obviously, if you are thinking about taking on this project, you do need, you know, an engine hoist and about two people, but and, and a few tools. But it's not necessarily a difficult job. It just requires a decent amount of tools and uh, and some time. So. Definitely, if you guys are thinking about it, I would recommend doing it. I heard that I would get charged around six hours or more from a local shop at $120 an hour. And so, uh, as you can tell, that's that's pretty expensive. And when you can just kick back, drink a couple beers, and knock this out one evening, that's definitely what I would recommend. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, leave a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing more boat videos like this as well as just adventures, camping, fishing, stuff like that. So I'll see you guys next time.